Okay. Hello guys. Okay. So we have two amazing, amazing, amazing girls on here. Um, and I actually don't know a ton about them. So I'm excited to hear their story. I just know that they're killing it. So that's always awesome. Um, both of them have been signing customers, big customers like crazy. And I'm super excited to hear their tips and what they've been doing. Cause we always focus on distributors, which I think is so important, but we have so many trainings about how to sign distributors that we need to know how to sign customers just as much. So this is going to be awesome. And I just want you guys to know, like if you're signing customers with just one product, you need to be listening to their tips because here's the deal. This is why this is so important is upselling is making sure that people are getting the right products for their goals. You can sign 10 customers. Okay. But if you sign 10 customers at 30 BV, imagine if you take those 10 customers and you sign them at 90 BV, you just tripled your paycheck. You tripled your business. Awesome. Okay. So Laura, he's excited. Hello. Hi. Okay. So can you tell us a little bit about your story and your rank and how long you've been in? Um, and then we'll just go ahead and just start with like your loyal customer signing tips. <laughs> awesome. Okay. So my story kind of in a nutshell, um, I met Savannah Sparks at a kindergarten meet and greet a little over a year ago. And I didn't really know much about her. I found her and stalked her on Facebook for like eight months. And I watched her every single day, make her skinny coffee and drop weight and, you know, make amazing money. And I pretty much just, I was a tired mom. I had a not so newborn, but a new baby at home. And she was not a good sleeper like my first one. So I was just tired all the time. I wasn't feeling good about myself. And so after eight months of watching Savannah, I finally messaged her and asked her if I could get in on her skinny coffee and if I could try it. She brought me stuff. The rest is pretty much history. I was hooked on the coffee and the greens from like the first time that I ever tried it. I'd never had amazing energy like that before. And I really didn't even have any expectation of losing weight. I was just happy that I had enough energy. And then fast forward, I started seeing absolutely amazing results with the products. I absolutely fell in love with the products. I am 100% a product of the product. I've lost almost 50 pounds in the last six months. Um, just with the coffee and the greens, not really like changing much other, like once I was super motivated with what I was seeing, obviously I started like working out and stuff, but I was just seeing amazing results and I was seeing Savannah make money. And so she was like, girl, when are you going to do this with me? Like, I know you need coffee. Like, why don't you just jump in this business and I'll show you the rest. And whenever you're ready, we'll just like hit the ground running. So honestly, like when I first joined, I wasn't, I didn't really do a whole lot of work. I, um, me and my husband also have two other businesses and I do taxes and it was right in like the thick of the end of tax season. So I didn't really do anything with it. And then after like two months, I just like, I decided I was going to go all in with the products. I was going to start tracking my results. I was going to start, you know, just hit the ground running with the business. So that's kind of like my story. I've always been blessed to be a stay at home mom. But like I said, we have two other businesses and I work January through April. So pretty much stay at home mom, but work at home mom already. Um, so that's kind of it with my story. Um, the business has been absolutely amazing. Literally the products have changed my life. Like no doubt the products hundred percent have changed my life. And I think that's kind of why it's easy, not like easy easy but it's it's really like attraction with the customers because i'm constantly sharing my results as soon as i had results i was like blasting them all over the place like you just shouting from the rooftops pretty much like how amazing these products have been for me and i'm the number one thing is i'm consistent like if you follow me on instagram every single morning you're either gonna see me making my coffee i'm gonna be posting a picture of me with my coffee or a time lapse or something every single morning i am 100 percent every day you follow me 
you're going to see my coffee. And then I'm constantly adding to my network too. So I know sometimes it can seem like repetitive if you're posting like the same thing every day. But if you're adding like 100 people to your network a day, then those 100 people didn't see you post about your coffee yesterday. So it's news to them. <laughs> so I it really consistently, I'm constantly sharing my results. I'm constantly sharing other people's results. And I'm consistent with posting every single day, always on my stories. They're always full. I'm always trying to add to my network. I'm always... Someone um Kristen okay thank you sorry go ahead something went weird on my phone I'm sorry <laughs> somebody was screen somebody was screen sharing it wasn't you go ahead ah wait you're muted butt nugget hold on there we go did I there fix it yeah you're good so the number one thing with me really is being consistent um, I add to my network every day. I'm messaging people. I'm interacting with people. And then when you're constantly messaging with people, Facebook is going to start showing your posts to them too. <laughs> so I know that that helps with the algorithm. Um, another thing I would say is, I don't know. <laughs> so this is, let this me is my first one of these, but Number one, I'm just consistent. I'm messaging, I'm adding people, I'm interacting, I'm doing my five daily non-negotiables and people are starting to come out that have been following for months, asking about the products coming to me because they're seeing me every single day and they're seeing me posting and seeing me being consistent. <laughs> See, this is what I love when people like are on here and they're like, I don't know. I'm just doing what I'm supposed to be doing. <laughs> so I love that. But let me get a little bit deeper in it with you. So really quick. That was weird. Um, so really quick. Have you signed any distributors yet? Yes. Okay. How long have you been in the business? Uh, about six months now. Okay. Six months. Okay. So what rank are you? I am Ruby now. <laughs> okay. Awesome. Congratulations. Okay. So let me ask you this. What if somebody said to you, I can't post my results because I am super skinny. So I don't have this big weight loss journey. What would you say to one of your new distributors if they didn't um, have that? I would tell them that there's really products out there for everybody. Like we have a great skincare line. One of my favorite products is our hair, skin, and nails. It's been absolutely amazing for me. I feel like if I don't take it for like a week, my skin just starts like breaking out. So they don't have to have a weight loss journey to find a product that's going to work for them. Like there's literally so much stuff. And a lot of it, sometimes I feel like it's underrated because we have so much amazing stuff like the collagen, the hair, skin, and nails. I'm absolutely obsessed with the reds right now. I drink them every single night. They're so good. They are Even so good. Celery, like that, you don't have to lose weight to drink the celery in the morning. So it's really everybody has their own journey and there's something that they can find that's going to work for them. That's going to, other people are going to feel their excitement about those products. And that's really what it's about. I feel like that it, it's exactly that because <clears throat> I think when like we hear people say like, Oh, well I have these huge weight loss results or I this or that you guys, everybody comes on here and says that they get personal results and they make their keto coffee on their stories every single morning. Guess what? I do not drink keto coffee. Like, we don't drink coffee. So can I not be successful? No, I will find three to five other products that I am obsessed with and I fall in love with and they give me some type of results. Results don't have to be this big before and after. It can be a testimony. So like you said, with the celery, it can be a feeling testimony, a health testimony, the hair, skin, and nails. It doesn't even have to be a visual testimony. It can just say like, my hair used to break off and now it doesn't. My skin used to suck and now it doesn't, you know? So like, it doesn't have to be this huge, like giant before and after, but it's about, I think your belief more than it is about other people seeing you have these big before and afters. It's that you... Laura, you found the results, you found the testimony of the product. And because you found that everything else just flows. You could post about any product 
and you know it's going to work even if you haven't tried it because you have a testimony of the rest of the product line, if that makes sense. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah, so I, I just wanted to make sure everybody understands that because that's the one thing with newbies. They're like, well, I don't have results or I'm 110 pounds. And I'm like, so you can't be healthy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got this. Um, but you look freaking amazing. So let's go through the things that you do. So um, when you're messaging, what are you messaging? Are you messaging for customers, distributors? Are you starting with distributor, falling back on customer? What are you doing? So honestly, I do both at the same time. And it took me a while to find my flow. But because um, I was green light messaging for a while. But obviously, when you're sending enough messages, I feel like it takes longer because I'm weeding through the people that I've already messaged like within the last like week or so. So what I do is I will like just pick a random letter. Sometimes I'll go in order, but I'll scroll through my friends and I'll start clicking on profiles. And if I, if I, if they stand out to me and I think that they'd be a good fit, then I'll send them a voice message, um, messaging for distributor. And then, um, everybody else will just get a host of post message. I love that. So as soon as we became friends on Facebook today, super funny. I saw <laughs> somebody I'm friends with on Facebook post a post for you. <laughs> so I was like, well, maybe that's how she's signing customers. <laughs> um, so I love that you guys, if you don't know what green light messaging is, it's like on Facebook, when you go to the people that are active, it has the green light next to their name. Those are the people who they are showing that they're actually like on Facebook right now. So are you mostly Facebook or are you Instagram also? So I originally, I was mostly Facebook. And I'll also add that when I started this, I literally had 155 friends on Facebook and I hadn't posted to Instagram in over a year. Okay. This is the stuff I love to hear. Because like, I know this business, but the people that are new, they're like, oh, well, she has this, she has that. But you started with 150 friends. Oh yeah. <laughs> I like never, ever posted anything to Facebook, hardly ever. <laughs> but I mean, now my, everything's like full. I'm, you know, I'm doing it. So it just took a while for me to get into the groove. And it also kind of helps for me going through my friends list instead of like, messaging directly from messenger because that way I can like weed out the people that I accidentally add that might be like distributors for other companies and and like stuff that's just similar that I mean I it might be like a negative thing to say it but people that I feel like would probably never be a good fit for the business or the products the thing is is that like you want on the, the beauty of this business is that you get to choose your business you get to choose who you want in your business so i don't think that that's bad at all you know if you look at somebody and you're like i don't think they would be a good fit for my team then you get to choose that <laughs> so okay so let me reiterate this so you started with like zero friends you pretty much network oh my <laughs> gosh guys it just takes a little bit of time she has been in six months these are the hard facts that I like to hear because I love to use them as examples. So now you're signing like crazy and you message for distributors if you want them on your team and you message for host to post if you're not sure if you want them on your team. <laughs> Pretty much. I mean, I will admit my first distributor that I signed was a customer and then she fell in love with the products and just randomly like decided to sign up. So that happens a lot. I, I can go both ways, but that's just kind of like what works for me. No, I, I love that. And I have actually had a lot of people that hosted a post for me that became distributors. So like, I feel like whatever you're messaging for, as far as like host a post or distributor, they will eventually become something or lead you to the person who will become something, you know? Yeah. And if they put up a host of post for me and I notice that it gets like more than average, the amount of comments, I'll send them a voice message and I'll message them for a distributor and see if they want some more information about the business. I love that. Okay. So there's probably hella people on here who don't know what host of post is. So before I have her explain it, I want you guys to know in the team page, if you just type in HAP or host of post, tons and tons of actual like scripts and ideas pop up. So if you get confused by what she's saying, you can go look at it there and it's all there. So can you explain to them what the heck host post is? Of course. So um, Savannah's amazing. And every month um, she hosts, well, everybody throws in like five bucks and she hosts a giveaway 
with the rest of the team. And this month we're doing like a $300 Target gift card giveaway. So uh, so we have like a pretty standard message. Um, like, hey, you know, I always insert their name. Like that's something for me. Like I don't send like, hey girl, hey love. Like I always send their name because I found like at first – I'd kind of get a little bit of negative feedback, you know, like script message, like thanks for the cold message. I don't know. I haven't personally gotten anything negative since I started adding people's name into the message and then random, but I also only voice message for distributors. Um, oh, host a post <laughs> brain fart. Mom no, no, brain. <laughs> I love that. You guys remember, remember what she said when you're messaging for distributors, use voice message. Like I know some of you guys are probably hella scared, but if you do it, there is no possible way that they cannot think that it is personal towards them. I am the same way. Like, I'm like, Hey Sally, I am talking to you right now. You know, like they know that I'm talking to them, not just because of their name, but because it's voice message. So if you're going to be messaging for distributors, like you have to stand out because if, if her and I are both messaging, let's just say the same person, this doesn't happen a lot. Um, which is funny because I went to high school with like a lot of my team, but it like rarely happens. But let's just say that we both message Brit. Okay. We're like, Hey, Sal, you're, you're absolutely right. She's like, Hey, Hey girlfriend, you're amazing. Let's do this. Blah, blah, blah. And Brit's like, uh, this is a copy and paste message. And then I'm like, Hey Brit. Oh my gosh, girl love your page. This is awesome. You can hear my actual real life voice. And she's like, Oh girl, thank you. You know, <laughs> I'm just, I'm just throwing it out there now, but I love, 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 love that. Okay. So host to post, go ahead. Sorry. <laughs> so basically I just send, I just send people a message and I say, you know, Hey, Christy, um, I'm giving away a $300 gift card to target this month. And I would love to have you entered. Uh, would you be willing to put up a super post for me in exchange for an entry? I keep it super simple. Cause I feel like if I send like a super long message with emojis and all that stuff, people know it's a copy paste message. Same, same. I'm like super simple. I'm like, bro, I'm here. If you want to be in my giveaway, cool. <laughs> if not, I'll find somebody that wants free money. I'm like, let me know if you're down. Like, no worries. If not, it's cool. And, um, I mean, I found that since I implemented their name and I keep it super simple, um, I get a lot more response. Cause I mean, honestly, I will say it's totally normal. I, you know, in the beginning I got discouraged, but most people will leave you on red. They won't even respond to your message. And then I'll put up a post on Facebook about the giveaway. I try to do that on the weekends when I know that more people are going to be on Facebook and I'll find people that want to be entered into the giveaway that I sent them a hosted post message and they never responded, but then they respond on the giveaway post on Facebook and they want to be entered. And then all of a sudden they're willing to put up a post for me. <laughs> so, I mean, don't get discouraged if they leave you on red, literally out of like a hundred messages, maybe like 10 to 20, 25, if I'm lucky, will actually put up a post for me. I, I love that because like you guys, you have to expect for not everybody to join your team, become your customer, or even host a post for you. Like, but who cares? You are a customer signing machine and you just literally said tons of people don't do it, but who cares? It's free money. If you don't want my money, that's cool. You know? So I love that. <laughs> um, so if you guys are wanting to do a giveaway, cause I do think that the giveaways, they are awesome. So if you guys are wanting to do a giveaway, maybe we can start one on October 1st because we're already halfway through the month. Do you guys usually do them beginning of the month and it's for the whole 30 days? Yeah, usually. Okay, cool. So, cause I know about people would be like messaging me like, can we do a giveaway? Can we do a giveaway? Can we do <laughs> um, that to be in my inbox. Okay. So that is awesome. Okay. So how many Facebook friends and Instagram followers do you think you have now? So I have a little over 2000 friends on Facebook. Um, like I said, when I send my messages and stuff, I kind of weed through a lot of people that I add. So it goes back and forth. And on Instagram, I started with 300 followers and now I have, um, like 1250. Awesome. In six months. That's amazing. Um, so as far as your Facebook, how do you feel like you're getting the people to accept your friend request? Um, so when I send when I add to my network, um, I'll find, I'll just find like one of my random friends on Facebook and I'll go to their friends list or I'll go to like a post that has like a lot of likes on it and I'll add. 
Um, I only have been able to been adding like maybe like 10 to 20 people because Facebook has started like really cracking down on how many people you can add. I'll even get messages that are a pop up on Facebook now that says only add people that you know. So um, I'll go to like a, a post that has a lot of likes and then I'll add some people. Maybe I'll click on like a friend that liked that post and I'll add some of their friends and it's kind of just like a never ending cycle. And then um, if they message me and they're like, hey, do I know you? I'm like, um, no, we've never met before. Um, you know, I'll say, you know, you popped up on my, you know, friends, you know, you may know, or, you know, I just, um, I'm adding, I'll send like just a sweet, short, like message. And um, usually they'll just go ahead and accept. I mean, a lot of them don't accept, but I'll just go and clear out my friends requests like once a week and start over. <laughs> So that's an awesome little tip that you guys might not know. So if you go to your, and this is really important because if you don't have a lot of people requesting you, which if you're working your business, you're going to have people that do it and, um, people that don't. Okay. So you're going to have both, but the people that don't, all you have to do is go to this. Let's see. Go to like the three little dots, go here, go to your friends, and then the... I don't think you can do it from your phone yeah, anymore. anymore. I no. had to put a link to my home screen that like takes you to the like mobile web version of Facebook to be able to clean mine out. Okay. Okay. So JK, you have to do it from a computer. You just go to your friends and it will say outgoing and then you can unsend your request if that makes sense. So... I'll even go through out there and I'm like, damn, <laughs> um, but who cares? Like I'm still growing my business and I got plenty that accept me and plenty that don't, I don't care. Um, so I love that too, that you shared that. So, um, what did you, what about your Instagram? Um, so my Instagram, pretty much the same thing. I'll just find like, um, I'll kind of, I'll either like click on someone's profile when I'm viewing my stories. Cause I feel like I get a lot more interaction when I'm watching people's stories. Um, I'll either click on their profile, I'll find a random post and then I'll just start like adding people from their posts. And then, um, kind of like the never ending cycle like that, I'll just like keep going and keep adding people. And I do it multiple times throughout the day so that I'm not getting hung up on like, you've sent too many, whatever. And then, um, I, I have been using, I think it's called followers and then it shows you like who's unfollowed you or who's not following you back. And then I'll just like go through there and start like unfollowing people that I don't recognize. Yeah, I, I love that. Um, okay. So you guys, you always want your followers to be higher than your following, um, because it just looks better. <laughs> um, so do you have any other ships that, tips that you want to share about signing loyal customers? Like any messages you use, any, you know, anything specific that you think just works really well besides what we already have? Um, I mean, really, I feel like, um, it, it's really, like I said in the beginning, it's about just being consistent with like keeping your, I'm always keeping my stories full and I'm not just loading them up with like blurry pictures or like just random, like, 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 like stories that don't match. Like a lot of my stuff is super, super simple. Like when I share my story, I shared, I'll just put up a picture and I'll type text on it. Like I'm not fancy. I'm really busy. Um, if I'm using a product, which is daily throughout the day, I, you're going to know that I'm using it. You're going to see me using it. Um, if I'm not using it and I am sharing like a cute story, it's going to be clean. It's not going to be chopped off. Um, I use a lot of interaction. Like I put up a lot of polls and like quizzes. Like today I put up, um, I shared my results about the coffee you saw me make my coffee this morning and then i asked people what flavor they would want to try and then so i signed a customer on the coffee just from them picking that they wanted salted caramel so um i'll i'll throw up like fun stuff um just a lot of interaction my messages um if a lot of people now, since I've been so consistent with the coffee, I get a lot of people that are starting to approach me, but it wasn't always like that in the beginning. Most, okay, so hold on. <laughs> I always use the loyal customer script. I keep it simple. Thank you. 
I always use the script. <laughs> so we'll go over what that is afterwards. But yeah, keep going. You're awesome. I have all the now, now I really like you. <laughs> I um and I wasn't in the beginning. I thought that I could just blab my head off about the products and that people would buy, but I was it's too overwhelming. Like the business doesn't have to be complicated. I'm all about like simple. So I've got my text replacement set up with all the scripts in it and I'll change it like depending on who I'm talking to. I always recommend extra. Um, I mean, honestly, like if someone wants coffee, I'm like coffee and greens. That's what I use. You know, you're going to get both. Like I don't just sell like just like a bag of coffee. It's always like the mocha dream deal. Like I'm always like emphasizing like how much more money they're going to save by becoming a loyal customer. And then, you know, how simple it is. Oh, you know, like if they do ask about the commitment, you know, I try not to, you know, what they don't, what they don't want to know, they don't need to know. <laughs> um, I try and just keep it simple, follow the script, send the host to post messages, be consistent because if you go like a couple of days without posting and thinking that you can, you know, you're just going to keep the momentum going, it's like working out, you know, you go to the gym for a month straight, you miss a day and then it's easier to miss the next day and the next day and the next day. So, I mean, just staying, just staying motivated with the personal development and just keep posting, keep doing those non-negotiables. And at first it may seem, you know, overwhelming. Like I set timers for myself sometimes. I'll do like my own power hour if I can't make it onto the team's power hours. And I'll, you know, I'll send however many messages I can send in 20 minutes. And I don't respond to those messages right away. Like if people are writing me back throughout the day, I'm not going to sit there on my phone all day and just respond to messages as they come. I'll send a batch of messages and I'll go about my day. And then when I have time, I'll sit down and I'll respond to all the messages at one time. So it's just about being simple. It doesn't have to be overwhelming. You'll find your groove eventually. I know it took a while for me, but once I found like my routine of what worked for me, it just gets easier and easier because you get into the habit of doing those things. And then it's like nothing. Like you follow these amazing leaders and they're not, you know, overcomplicating it. Most of the stuff is them just going about their day, like implementing the products into their already busy lives. Like you'll see cute stories from them sometimes, but most of the time it's just what they're already doing. And I feel like people are attracted to people. Like people want my feeling. They don't want coffee. They want to see the results that I've had. They want the results. They want you. They don't want the product. They're buying like your experience is what I feel like. That That is. I mean, it's people purchase, thing ba purchase things based upon emotions. Like let's just say, okay, who here has a Louis Vuitton or who here would like a Louis Vuitton? <laughs> it's a very... It, it's, it's not that that purse, maybe, maybe it's a little bit better quality, but why do you, why do people want it? They want it because of the feeling that it's going to give them of feeling good about themselves, feeling accomplished, feeling this, feeling that and whatever, because this person is someone they want to be like, and this person has it, you know, and, and there's nothing wrong with that. That's just how sales work. Like, that's why, like, I get zero feeling from a Louis Vuitton and I look at a big house and I'm like, house like you know, everybody everybody's different everybody's different but everybody wants to feel those good emotions everyone wants to feel it the warm and fuzzies and that's the kind of stuff that you just be consistent with and they will always watch you and that's what our products do they make you feel good they make you look good which makes you feel good like everybody knows you know and I love how you said that too you you if you guys watch me like I did, we're just literally sitting there and we had our feet up and like Elliot put his leg up and I was like, oh my gosh, he's so cute. Like his little toe. And then I took a picture of it and then I was like, oh my gosh, like they're watching us. And then I made like a whole post about it. You know, like I did not set that up. I didn't like anything else. It just kind of happened, but that's what it is. Like you could even ask Savannah, ask anybody else. We just go, it's a lifestyle. It is a lifestyle. That's why we call them lifestyle posts, lifestyle stories, lifestyle everything, because like you're just going about your life. I don't care if you work 15 hours a day. A lot of people in this business do until they don't have to, but you just 
work it upon your life because more people are actually going to have more in common with you guys that work than me that doesn't work anymore, you know? So share that. But anyways, is there anything else that you wanted to add? Um, I mean, I guess the only thing since I get a lot of feedback from my stories aside from messaging, like that's my, like, you know, how I get most of my customers. Um, so I don't just like post product posts. Like I was saying earlier, I constantly am like throwing in stuff to break it up. It's almost like personal product, personal, you know, and I don't post anything usually about the business until later in the afternoon. I constantly will like throw up stuff throughout the day because especially with stories, because that'll constantly keep me at the front of people's stories when they go on Instagram and Facebook, I do have them synced up. So if you're seeing it on Instagram, you're seeing it on Facebook. I know that's probably like a, you know, you should probably know this, but I know there's probably some people, you know, maybe there's some people that don't, but, um, just being consistent, you know, I try not to like post like back to back, like product stuff on my Facebook. And then, um, I will sometimes post people's results, like, you know, multiple times throughout the day, but then I'll go back to my profile and I'll hide them from my timeline. So if you're like a friend of mine and you go to my Facebook, you're not going to see like product, 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 product. Like you're going to see like personal, personal, maybe interaction post, um, you know, lifestyle, you know, video, like it's all broken up. So you're not like immediately like, oh my gosh, this girl sells. It works. It's like, no, like her, her birth, her daughter's birthday party was yesterday. Here's some cute pictures, you know? Like, here's my live from a couple of days ago, like watching, you know, watching that stuff. So people, when you hide it from your timeline, people are still going to see it like when they're scrolling through Facebook. But if they go to your profile there, it's not going to show up. So just like random stuff that comes no, to no, my no. head. <laughs> I love that. I do the same thing. Like, um, as far as like Facebook goes, I'll throw up a before and after every once in a while. Sometimes it's me. Sometimes it's other people, whatever. My stories are always loaded, and if I ever do post a before and after on my actual Instagram, it's either me or it's someone else, and then it only stays up for like 24 hours. That's it. I, I hide it after that um, because like on your Facebook, you can get away with leaving up results, leaving up this, whatever, but on your Instagram, you can't. You just, it, it just like, you're like, oh my gosh, look at all of her her cute kids and then her selfie and her cute outfit and then bam before and after like it just it looks sticks weird. out <laughs> yeah, it, just, it just doesn't flow unless it's you like I that's why like I use myself a lot um so you're amazing and if you have anything else that you remember like when Brit's talking because I know that happens to me all the time then just go ahead and unmute yourself and you can share but you are so awesome and are you coming to green carpet I'm not coming to green carpet, but I'm totally for number one, I'm going to be at those diamond brunches every month. Yes. And, um, <laughs> conference conference, definitely. <laughs> so it's Thanks. only up from here. So actually speaking, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I got an eyelash in my eye and I <laughs> feel like my kids are dying upstairs because I hear crazy amounts. That's of me. I hear banging and I'm hoping my husband's alive out there. I, th I think the banging is in my house, but anyway, <laughs> so you guys conference dates were actually, they were not like officially released, but they were like secretly released to us. Um, that's like our next huge event after the green carpet, which is this week. Um, and they are going to be the end of January. So the 30th, 31st, and then February 1st. So mark your calendars, set your dates, get your time off from work, do whatever you got to do, get a babysitter, whatever. There's just no excuse. Like it is going to be freaking amazing. But anyways, so I'm excited. I will. So you live here. Yes, I do. Oh girl. <laughs> it's be that much you, fun. Met, you met me at the try it. If you look through your phone, there's probably a picture of us. Probably. There. Probably, but I'm but like, I'm like, this girl Whoa. meets so many people. She'll notice me when I've been around for a little bit. <laughs> to, be, to be honest, I don't remember anything from when I was pregnant. So, <laughs> <laughs> well, you looked cute. <laughs> I, I tried, I tried, but my pants were like really tight. Um, 
<laughs> I, that's all I remember. My pants were really tight. Um, but yes, you guys, conference will be in Tampa. Our events are always in Tampa. So um, that's just where we are located. It's at the Amelie Arena. Um, so yeah, it's going to be so freaking awesome. So thank you so much. And yes, I will see you at the hopefully next Diamond Brunch. So in October, I'm watching. I'm getting there. <laughs> She's like, ah. <laughs> yeah, so it'll be super awesome. Wait, were you in those pictures with you and Savannah? Were you guys all dressed up cute? Uh-huh. Okay. All right. Now I know who you are. <laughs> I, I have to, like, put, like, Facebook with real life with, like, pictures and, like, with leaders and people. Like, I have to connect them that way or else I'm like, woo, don't know who you are. Um, so if, you, if any of you guys are going to green carpet and you're like, Chrissy, and I'm like, hi. <laughs> I'm like, I try. I try so hard. But anyways, I also just suck with faces and names. So oh, that'll be super awesome. Hopefully sooner than later at the, at the next uh, Diamond Brunch, and it'll be awesome. Um, so thank you very much. And again, if you remember anything, just let me know. All right. I oh, see Brie over there. You. She's got some ants in her pants. <laughs> She's like, oh, let me talk. So I'm scared to unmute you because I feel like you're kind of like me. Like you're, you like to talk, but that's cool. <laughs> just kidding. Um, okay. So... Basically, um, Alexis has just been like ranting and raving about you and how amazing you are and sharing about just everything you've enrolled so far. So kind of just share your story with me a little bit, like how long you've been in, what you've signed so far, because I know it's, it's a awesome number, um, for you being so new and then we'll go into loyal customers. Awesome. Can you guys hear me clearly? Yes. Awesome. So first and foremost, I apologize in advance if I cry and get emotional because I do this. Okay. My team knows this. Um, and, and another thing, I am so grateful for everyone who's on right now. I can feel your energy through the phone and I'm just so excited to be able to just speak life into you guys on my experience. So yeah, there you go. Okay. So what was your first question? Can you share like who the heck you are and like a little bit about why you started and what you've done so far and how, in how long, because I know you are newer. Okay. So you guys are going to love this. And that's what I love about this business is that we're both so completely different. Like the story you guys just heard right now, it's so awesome. I'm so proud of you, girl. Like my story is going to be so, so different. So I was actually in the military and, um, in the military, I became a single mom, um, to kind of speed up things. I met Alexis, um, in Colorado when I was stationed there and, um, uh, I found her on a post and I hit her up and we like clicked instantaneously. Okay. Um, sh my kids even think about her like random, like I miss miss Alexis. So I love you, Lex. I'm so grateful for you. Um, then moving forward, I got out of the military. You know, I tried doing this transition into the civilian world, and it was very, very frightening for me. It was, I kind of lost myself. Um, I lost my way. Um, and um, and I, I'm so sorry. My daughter is screaming, saying that she needs help, and she's in the bathroom. Hey, Lonnie. Go ahead. Go ahead. We're all. Okay. I, we're I'll be all right ahead. back. To most of us, most of us are moms, so it's fine. I get it. <laughs> if I didn't have my husband here, you guys, woo, this would be a party. <laughs> this would be totally a party. But I didn't have four children, so um, yeah. But I'm I'm excited to hear her story. <laughs> okay, sorry. I guess this yeah, is yeah. fine, right? Okay, you're fine. Keep your kids alive. A training <laughs> is not worth it. <laughs> okay, well, um, I squirreled. So bring me back on track. So oh, yeah. you were in the military, became a single mom, met Alexis. She's awesome. Your kids love her. Okay. So I got out of the military. I lost my way, you know, I, and I call it my journey to enlightenment. I needed to go through that to be in this place and space that I am in my life right now on my life journey. And I watched Lex, like after I, I restationed and got stationed somewhere else, um, we kept in contact, but I, at that time I was kind of on my Facebook, not really that much. Um, but I saw, I remember when she first 
that, you know, gave that first post, like I just started my own business. And of course we're like homies. Like I'm like checking up on her, like seeing how she's doing. And she can, she, she can vouch like literally every three or five months I'm hitting her up. Like, Hey, how's the business going? Like what's going on? You know? And, um, finally, I don't know what it is, but, um, about a year ago, a lot of things were going on in my life and I needed to make a change in myself because I was always looking outward. I was always looking to the external and it was always taking me completely off balance, completely out of center. Um, and that's what brought me to hit up Alexis for the last time. And that was August. I think it was like, it was like August 19th maybe, but I hit her up like August 19th. I signed August 22nd and I'm like, I, I'm like without words. I'm like, I just signed my 18th loyal customer today. And you guys, August as in like a couple weeks, like a few weeks ago, August, like 25 days ago, maybe 24, 25 days ago. Um, and I knew as soon as I told Alexis that I was negative in my bank account, guys. I put on my debit card protection just so I can sign up. And I got charged an insufficient fund fee of $34. But I believed, I, I asked the universe, you guys are gonna think I'm crazy, but I asked the universe to give me this wisdom, to give me the words and the inspiration and the encouragement that I needed. Because I know that guys, we're not alone, ever. Even anybody who's in their room by themselves right now, we're not alone source of our being is always with us and so I like I didn't even expect for it to blow up like this for me at all I had so many doubts like I started I am only doing Facebook I started with 115 people and majority of them were my my family um, and maybe a couple childhood friends um, so did that answer your question? Did yeah, I yeah, 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 totally. Okay, so you've signed 18 customers, but you've also signed some distributors, right? Four? Yeah, four. Mm -hmm. Damn, girl. <laughs> it took me like five months to sign that. But mm -hmm. we are all on our own journey, but I love that so much. And honestly, <laughs> it's because you're hella excited. Mm -hmm. um, so can you share some of your tips for like, how the heck did, were you a customer before you were a distributor? No, no. literally okay. so no, you, not at all. Yeah, so you don't have like, oh my gosh, look at these awesome before and afters. So how have you been able to sign your customers with 150 friends that you're obviously growing and just Facebook? Um, okay, so I knew going into this that I needed to think like how I would think if somebody was approaching me like this. So I love your loyal customer script. I love all of your scripts. I have them saved in my phone. When somebody messages me, I'm like scrolling through, you know, but I had to change it and modify it to how I talk. And a lot of people, like I talk universally because I want every, I want all colors. I want all personalities to feel me. So like somebody, that is, that, you know what I'm saying? Like somebody, I if, I, if I use the word God with somebody versus universe, it, it, it changes the dynamic on how, they might feel about how I'm approaching them. So I just want it to be neutral. And that's how I am in my own personal life. And I realize that this, this business is like a driving force for this journey to enlightenment that I've been on in my own life. And it's growing me so much. There's so many things that I'm so astounded about myself. I'm like, who are you? You know, like, um, and I just love it. I just love it. Like all day long, I'm thinking about this business and I, I'm just getting all these amazing, amazing thoughts. And then one, one person goes live and I'm like, I'm hopping on that one. And then I'm shooting it out to my group. And then I'm like hollering at one of the teams, like, Hey, I'm rooting for you. You know, I'm just all over the place. Cause I want everybody to know that I care. I truly do. Um, and I love how she, uh, how she adds friends. What I noticed hardcore and I'm like almost at 400 now is as soon as I see in Messenger that they've added me, non-negotiable, I say, like it's very small script, I have it saved in my notes, thank you for adding me, and I get very personable. I always use their name, just like she said. I always use the name because I want them to know, like, who is this stranger? Oh, she's so sweet. That's how it is. 
And so I'll use their name. Thank you for adding me their name. I'll put like a, a flower emoji. And then this is what it is. This is planting a seed for connection, not planting a seed to have them buy something, have them try something, have them change their life forever and make 500 a month. No, what I'm trying to do is I'm building a deep connection with this person. It's an icebreaker. It truly is. Because the next thing that I say, when I see that ad, I'll forget if they have a family or if they have no kids at all. So I'll quickly, I'll go inside that, that message thing that they've added me. I'll look at their profile and I'll scroll, I'll stop for a second, just for like a couple. And, um, and I'll add in, if they don't have kids, I'll be like, you have such an amazing um, array of memories on your page. And then I'll give the like, you know, goal, you know, <laughs> that kind of thing. Um, or if they have a, a family, I'll be like, you have such an awesome family. And that's been an icebreaker for me. Those are the people that I've been signing complete strangers lately this past week. And I feel like it's the ones in my first couple, my first week and a half that I was in that I was adding. These are the ones, these are the ones. I love that. So normally I don't suggest messing someone, messaging someone as soon as they add you, but <coughs> I'm dying. Um, but messaging them saying something about their life, it's almost like that interaction messaging starting right away and making it like more personal right away. So I love that. Plus actually, um, the second you guys message somebody, Facebook and Instagram actually makes it so that you guys can see each other's posts and stuff like that. So the sooner you message them, the better, but don't be, um, a robot. <laughs> don't be a robot. Pick something from their Facebook that is personal towards them. Okay. So that is super awesome. So are those the people who have, been, who have became customers or mostly distributors? And if they are the distributors, what have you been doing for your customers to sign your customers? Well, that is just for loyal customers. Okay. What I just stated, that's just for loyal customers. And if like I add one of us, like they're on, it works. I won't do the thank you for adding me thing. I, right. uh, you know what I mean? I mean, and I do that because, so I'm not always seeing their stuff too, you know, just like what you said. Um, but as far as distributors, it's like what I'm posting. It's, um, it's the host of posts are on fire and our team is doing that as well. The gift card giveaway, and that's just flying off the charts. But what's crazy guys is, is that if you go to my page, I don't have many likes on, on a lot of my posts. What happened after I started going live, it blew up, absolutely blew up. And all I'm doing is just speaking my thoughts, speaking life into my phone, explaining exactly what it's doing to me, like being the product of the product, and then telling them how it's actually changing my life. Like on several of my lives, I've gotten emotional because I truly believe that we should all speak life into each other. And we have a company where we can you like fuel that speaking life into people and then change them internally too so i just have that vision i have that perspective and i feel like the whole world can change if we can all get all these people on board like truly with all my heart i do and that's and that's why you sign because you really believe in the product you believe in the business and I want you guys to see too that she watched Alexis for a very long time and that was someone that she knew really well. Sometimes the people closest to you are the people who take the longest to start because they want to see if you're going to make it. They want to see if you're going to stick with it. So if Alexis would have never stuck with it, she wouldn't be here today. Britt wouldn't be here today. So I'm always like putting the two together. I'm like, if I don't send out this message, if I don't do this follow-up, that person might not sign. And I'm supposed, I could possibly be the person that changes their life. So like I'm essentially taking food off their kid's table. If I don't just sit down and do my 20, 30 minutes, a uh, you know, power, power 30, power hour, whatever. Wait, like can that. I say one thing? Yeah, yeah, of course. I've been planting seeds. I have a lot of people in my network and I don't know if you guys get this too, but I get a lot of them that are very, very down in life. Like, talking like about somebody or a situation or their kids are doing this 
And I, I'll go in there and I'll be like, I'm sending you so much love today, some love, light, and peace from my corner over here. And they'll personally message me and be like, you know what? You totally didn't even need to say that, but I'm so grateful you did. Like, I'm so thankful. A lot of people don't use the word grateful. I use a lot, so please get used to it. Um, but um, a lot of people use I'm thankful, and uh, that's just what I'm getting. That's just what I'm receiving. So. No, and I, I think that's actually really good to like see and understand because I think even people here might be going through a lot. You might have life happening, whatever, but this business can change you internally and that mindset change will change every part of your life. That's why I love it so much. I have truthfully, like I have people who they sometimes quit the business, but they message me. I had a girl message me that hasn't been a distributor for over a year and a half. And she messaged me randomly on Instagram. She's like, Hey, listen, I know like the business didn't work out for me, but I'm so grateful. Like you changed my life. Like you changed my mindset. Like I am just a happier person because of it. And I haven't talked to her in a, like so, so, so long. I didn't even know that she was still watching me. So I think like that coming through on your guys's posts and your stories and your lives and your things like that, that's why people join because they want that happiness. They want the feeling not just the money, but if you can direct the money with, listen, if you're unhappy or you're scared or you're living in a state of fear or this or that, because you can't pay your bills, this business can change that state and make you a happier person because you can pay your bills, you know? So you're putting it all together, but sometimes people don't start for the money. Like, because if somebody wanted bad enough to not be in, in debt, to not, you know, be struggling with money, they could go get a second job. They could work harder. They could do this. They could do that. But they join this business because they want the happiness, the mindset change. They want the friendships. They want the fun. They want the freedom. They want all those things. Um, <clears throat> so I think that's huge. So Britt, do you use your stories a lot? And do you, so you're, you're doing a lot of host to post, which is awesome. You follow the script. That's amazing. You're growing your network. Obviously, like it's grown like almost over doubled, which is awesome. Um, that's kind of, I feel like the secret to this business. It's, it's none other than you need new eyes on your page all the time. That's, right. you know, that's a huge, huge thing. But I love what you said about going live. I think a lot of us are scared to go live. We don't want to go live. We don't know what to talk about, how to talk about it. Um, so did you ever go live on Facebook before you started the business? No. Negative. Nope. Okay. So wait, let me just tell okay, you really quick. Ahead. So it was the 22nd and it was Alexis's first time doing a power hour on Sunday that my first Sunday in the business and I was on, I was ready. And it was so amazing to be in that because I was like, it was kind of coming into reality for me. But as soon as, as soon as we had that power hour, I was like, I'm going live. And I think I went live that day. Because Alexis was like, I'm going live. I was like, all right, I'm going live too. <laughs> and I didn't know what to say. Man, the way you said that, that's literally how, like, that is her. Like, I could think that she's actually just talking. <laughs> and like, the way you, I'm going Yeah, live. yeah, like, like this. I'm sorry. I just thought that was hilarious because that's totally her. Like this? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Energy is contagious. <laughs> if you want awesome energy full of people on your team, you have to be that. If you are like, guess what you're going to get on your team? <laughs> you know, like you have to be that energy. Um, so you know what? You know what I love though is I'm also speaking life into my team members because we get down, you know, you know, we get, a lot of us get stuck and I'm saying us because we've all talked about this, but, um, we get stuck on the ones that say no. And you know what? I always say out loud to myself, I say, I am so grateful for you saying no to me right now. Like in my mind, out loud, you know, I'm like, I'm so grateful because guess what? That's giving me room and power and strength and encouragement and inspiration to, for, for the universe to gravitate another person to me, for me to give that energy to them. Because I truly believe, and I've said it in my lives, I feel like they're shooting rainbows in all of us like even through this phone but instead of going through the phone mine is going 3,000 miles you know away to you you know and to Tamara and to Jessica and everyone like we are all connected we were all created by the same source 
And, um, and I, you're so funny. You know, you're, you're trying to be so like politically correct. <laughs> Hilarious. I'm sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> Um, but you know, that's just what I do. I, and I, and I just want people to feel that feeling is so important. So, so important. And a lot of people in my network, they're really numb. Like, and I just want to speak life into them. I don't want to talk to them about the business. They could see it on my page. They could see it in their feed. But when I, and I, you know what, let me interrupt, interrupt myself for anyone who's completely new is that I had to shut off that mindset of feeling like I needed to please who's on the other side looking at my posts. I, I just needed to be completely authentic. Like before, I, but I used to wear makeup all the time. I'm not wearing no makeup no more. My hair, skin and nails is like clearing me out. Like my hair is like super shiny, it's so long. Like I just, I love the products. And I realized that it's like, if you're not, if you're gonna try to come into this business and not wanna try it for yourself, like how, how, how could you sell anything if you're, if it's not working for you? Like, it's just not going to work. And, um, yeah, so that's just how I feel about it. No, I, <clears throat> I love that. And I want to share something kind of based like upon what you just said. I love analogies, but Pam Souter, which is our queen of it works. She is freaking awesome. She said one time to a girl, we were, you guys, if you ever go to events, if you're ever around leaders, I don't care if you're a distributor and you're around a ruby, a ruby around a diamond, a diamond around an ambassador. I don't care what you are. Listen, listen and ask questions because they will breathe life into you. But um, I remember Pam was talking to somebody else and she said, she told her, she had this girl on her team who was just energy draining. She enrolled, but she was energy draining and she just kept bringing her down and was so negative. And she said, like, let her go. Like, you can't find your husband until you break up with your boyfriend. And that's kind of what I just took from, like, what you said, um, you know, where you said, like, thank you for saying no. Like, because you, you opened up the space, the room for the right person to come into my business. And that's kind of what I think about, like, if people tell me no or if people come in this business and then decide it's not for them, whatever it is, I say, like, okay. Like, you're not my next husband. <laughs> you're my ex-boyfriend. And that, I will, I will say this, and Alexis and I have talked about this before, which is super funny, because we have, like, the same story. Like, how many of you guys are married, and the last guy that you dated, it was, like, almost immediately after you broke up that you met your husband, he was the next person, and that last boyfriend, like, whoo, energy draining, it was that breakup makeup, breakup, makeup, breakup, makeup. How many of you guys had that? Cause that was me and Alexis. And I'm like, so thankful that I didn't stay with that person because I would have never met my husband. Like if I would have made that choice to let that person take my energy, stay with that person when I knew it wasn't right. And I knew it didn't feel right and didn't feel good. I would have never met my husband. So break up with the nose break up with that ex-boyfriend, break up with the sister <laughs> that's bringing you down so that you can find your husband. And I will say this, like, if you guys have anybody in your circle that is negative, it might even be your husband. Okay. You're obviously not going to break up with your husband, but if you have a husband that's not supportive, what you tell them is you say, Hey, listen, like, I know this is going to work. I want this to work. Just love me and support me. And we don't have to talk about it. I'm going to work my business. We don't have to talk about it. If you don't, if you don't support it, that's okay. Because guess what's going to happen when you guys talk about it, you're going to be brought down because he doesn't, you know, think it's going to work, whatever. But guess what? You come on here Monday night and you're full of hundreds of people who believe in it and believe in you. So you just have to stay around the right people. Exactly. So that was kind of like, going off of the, you know, it's okay for people to say no, they're gonna say no. You just have to get over it. Like you just have to get over it. Can it's I say okay. something and like tag Always. on to you? Okay. So it also goes to show, like say like what you think about 
is what the universe is going to bring to you. So when you change what you think about, what you think about changes. It changes your perspective. You think completely different. And I'm going to tell you one thing is I have voices right now in my head while I'm speaking to you guys all day long is that like you need to get out of this business. You're not going to do well. You're doing good right now. You're having a great streak right now. And then guess what? You're just going to plateau and this is going to be boring and bad. And I'm ignoring that so bad. And I like message my leader, Alexis, all the time. Like, hey, Lex, I just want to let you know I'm not worried, you know, but I'm, I, I'm hearing all these voices and I'm just ignoring them. Okay, just want to let you know, bye. You know, but I needed to get that out there. You know, I needed to release it for myself. So I know that, I'm going to stick to this, that I'm going to see this through. But if I'm like just trying to deal with it all by myself and just handle it all by myself, oh no, then people, that's why people quit in a week or within 24 hours because they don't believe in what they can't see yet. I, I love that so much because I tell all my newbies, I'm like, listen, you're going to have days that are good and days are, that are, they're not good, but do not isolate yourself reach out to me. If you mm -hmm. feel like crap, I can tell you, I probably felt like that a hundred times over. <laughs> and mm -hmm. it's funny that you say that too, because it's like Pam says, like, it's like a cloud. It's okay to feel it. And then you just let it go by you. If you try to like get it out of your head, you just think about it more. So I'll say things to my husband and I'm like, so I haven't signed any distributors in like three days. And so I feel like crap, but I know that I'm doing all the work that I need to do. And I know I'm being consistent. I know I'm following up. So I know they're going to sign. I also know not everybody signs every single day. So it's okay. And I have a couple of these girls that are doing really good. So I'm super excited about that. And I know I'm going to sign someone soon. So like I start with that, like, I kind of feel like crap, but I'm going to, I'm going to talk myself through it right now. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, exactly. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> He's like, okay, sounds yeah. like you got it all worked out. I'm like, yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> or, or, or the, or they'll get to say like, everything's going to be okay, honey. <laughs> yeah. He's like, he's like, you know what to do. He always says, like, you know what to do. I'm like, I know what to do because this happens like clockwork. You guys, every single month, if I go like three or four days without signing something, I'm like, you know what? I need to sign something. Why haven't signed anything? Oh, but I'm doing all the work. So I'm going to sign something soon. And it's okay. Cause this happens every single month. <laughs> <laughs> it's you guys like, it's normal. We're human. You can't expect to like make this absolutely amazing residual income and have the financial freedom and the life freedom and the time freedom and the vacation freedom. And this just like freaking dream life without having hard days. It's like if, if it was so smooth, if you signed up and just like what I was talking about in the video last night, if you signed up and you were making $5,000 within two weeks, like why wouldn't everybody be in this business? You know, like you have to put in the time and the work and that's that 10% that stand out from anyone else. And they get to have that dream life. Like you don't get to have it without being consistent. And I like to tell you guys too, like, I don't sit down and work eight hours a day or 10 hours a day or 15 hours a day. I don't, but I know how to do the business. So I can just like what Laura said, mm -hmm. like I can take 20 minutes, do hella messaging and you know, I can reply at different times. I can make a post in 10 minutes and I'm like, Oh, that's awesome. You know, whatever. Mm -hmm. But like it used to take me like 30 minutes and then it took me 20 minutes and then I got better at it. And then it's just, it's just so simple. It really is so simple. I went ambassador, still showering, still talking to my family, still playing with my kids, still having fun, still this, still that, because I was in the right state and I felt good about it and I wasn't, you know, neglecting anything else. So you don't have to put in 50 million hours a day. Just like find your flow. You just got to find that flow for you. Um, and I think these two ladies have found their flow. because They are killing it. Um, and it's so funny, Britt. You're like, I tell my new people, I'm like, girl, you are new. <laughs> I love it. But I, but I love that you signed so much because I did it, you guys. So like, I'm always like, don't worry. I didn't sign a bunch in the beginning either. It took me three months to sign my first customer, my first distributor, whatever. But then I feel like, there's people who have gone diamond in 60 days, in 90 days. And I don't want to ever slow down anyone's progress because mine started slow. 
So I love to share like Britt where she's over here, like, you know, 18 customers in three weeks for distributors in her first three weeks, because that's what's freaking possible. You guys, I have three girls going diamond this month that signed up in July because they didn't know any different. You set the tone for your team. You set the pace for your team. If you say, get your first four customers within your first 60 days, guess what? They're going to get two this month and they're going to get two on the very last day of next month. If I say you're going Ruby this month, next month Emerald, and then you're going diamond. And if there's a bonus, you get it. If not, blah, 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 whatever. Like people are like, okay, that's the normal thing to do. So that's what I'm going to do. You set that pace. You set that tone. Um, I want to share too, because your customers have been huge. So are you, are you following the script as in you're asking their goals and then you're recommending the products that are, you know, in the comments, things like that. Is that basically how you're upselling? So I followed your guidance and how you said stick to like two or three or four ones that you, that you made that resonates with you. So I was like, that makes perfect sense. Like, why am I going to get like prevent age if I don't really need it? Right. And I'm like putting it on like, perfect. You know, I really like looked in myself and I said, okay, what is it that I need? And, um, I totally squirreled. What was your question? Um, like, like upselling basically. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You follow those, those scripts, like, Oh you know, yeah. With the keto coffee okay. and things like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I actually, so I, I follow the script and then I ask, what is your wellness goals? What's your water intake like? Um, and I voice things now. I voice it now. I have memorized all of them. Um, and I did it because I wanted to, because I felt like I needed to go 150% in to know that this is going to be successful for me. I'm not a half-asser. I'm sorry. I just, that's just my personality. Um, but yeah, I'll go through that. And as soon as they reply, or if it's a, if it's off a hosted post or um, an interaction post, like, Hey, who wants to fit in their costume and by Halloween, like, you know, put an emoji down here. Like I already immediately, I'm like, I tell them first, just like I told you guys before I even started speaking, I said, I'm grateful for all of you. I am so excited to be here with you. I do that with every single customer. I do that with every potential DT because I want to, them to know first my heart before they think that I'm this salesman hat. So I always, always, always say that first. Um, yeah. I love that so much because you guys, people appreciate feeling appreciated. It's really simple. You know, like, have you guys ever gotten, you know, someone random just messaging you or, you know, maybe someone in your family that you don't talk to a lot and they just send you a random text, things like that. People appreciate that so much. So I love that. Like even just, you know, because I don't talk like you talk, but you know, some way that I might implement that is like, Hey, you know, like I appreciate you so much, like for commenting and I'm super excited to help you, you know, reach your goals. Like that's, that's that personal touch. And then I can go and ask them their goals kind of thing. Um, so yeah. So, so once, so once they um, tell me that, then I'm already thinking like immediately, because I know it's going to be about weight loss. I, immediately. I'm already thinking about the cleanse. I already know that I'm going to offer the cleanse. I already know that I'm going to offer the coffee. That's hands down. Regardless. I'd be like, okay, you know what I say, guys, write this down. I say, I say, Hey, okay. That's awesome. I please stand by while I tailor recommend some amazing benefits for you. And, and I always get like a, a heart emoji or like some, you know, hard eye face or whatever, because they feel like, a, like I'm connected with them already. Like, they, oh, she's going somewhere special. I wonder where she's going to look, you know? <laughs> so I totally think of this like a game a passionate game and I I am just wanting everyone to play along so with care with so much love and I always have to say that when I talk and after I give the loyal customer script I will always say with so much love party and then you know and then they give me the heart emoji back Your laugh is cracking me up I you're like <laughs> <laughs> um no I love that and you guys like <laughs> I don't talk like her. So I'm thinking, I'm instantly thinking in my head, like if I said that they'd be like, you're weird. That's not you. Right. Like that's not how I talk, <laughs> but there is things that I can say similar that I would say yeah. and how I would say it. So 
take what she's saying and apply it because I really think like it, it not only makes them feel appreciated, but it makes you feel good. It's just like when you do charity, who feels good? I mean, they feel good, but you might actually feel better because you're making someone else feel good. It feels good to make someone else feel good. So I think that's actually going to boost morale just in your entire business when you appreciate other people just as much as you want them to feel appreciated. And a little life hack, okay? So you can message yourself. And I know some of you guys, you're like, I would love to do voice message, but I'm at work or I'm this or I'm that or whatever. And voice message is more personal. So you can message yourself on Facebook, okay? And then you can forward those messages. So I would not recommend it for like offering the business because again, you want to put their name in it and you want to add something about them when you're offering the business. But what you can do is I would basically say like, Hey Brit, you, let's just say it was your, your voice message. You know, I would say like, Hey Brit, like, be right back while I recommend something for you or whatever. Um, and then you can go to yourself. I type in Christy, message Christy, and I can forward, okay, this is what I have for you. I think the keto coffee, the chocolate greens, and the cleanse would be so amazing for you. This is what they do. This is what they are. How does that sound? Always ended a question. How does that sound? So literally you're just saying the loyal customer script recommendations that are in the comments of the loyal customer script in the team page. Always have to reiterate that, but you can just forward that. And then it's still being personal without you actually having to repeat those specific recommendations through voice message. Um, so this is awesome. You're welcome. It'll save you guys tons of time if you do like or if you do want to voice message and like you could voice message yourself as many times as you want until you find the perfect one. (laughs) That's the only one you ever have to forward. Um, but yeah. And I love that too, because that's going to be something that like keeps the personal touch. But again, if you're at work for 15 hours a day, like you can't just sit there and voice message people all day. So it's a win-win, but you had, yeah, always. Yeah. Go for it. Um, okay. Another thing that really, really helped me. So as soon as I got into the business that Sunday that we had that power hour, I made that spreadsheet. So four days into the business, I put together that, that Google sheet spreadsheet and I memorized all of our products because everything was right there. I have what it is, which is your loyal customer script and then what it does and what ingredients are in there. Um, and I, it, it has really helped me to see everything right there instead of having to go to our site, our customer page, look up BB, look up retail, look up all that. It's all right there. So you guys <laughs> she, she made an actual like Excel spreadsheet with all that in there and it's in the files. Um, so <laughs> totally not something I would ever do. <laughs> um, and I appreciate that. I appreciate different types of things that you guys do and you input into this entire business. Um, because I don't have the personality to do it all by myself. You know, I can't be all of these people. I I have different hats, but I don't have all of them. Um, I love this. Okay. So you have five kids and you work full time. Damn girl, you are beating me. (laughs) <laughs> you have five? Oh my gosh I had no idea you had five I thought you had like one because so I have, I have three I have three of my own and then I have two bonus children one of my oh. bonus children doesn't live under our roof but you know he you comes still to have children. five kids yeah yeah <laughs> and it's super quiet in there to have five kids or four oh, they, they were told they were told like behave level yeah <laughs> You my little out, one's like, you literally, she's literally right here with one of those toy screwdrivers just so I can hear it right now. <laughs> like it took me like, like, uh, yeah. I love it. I love it. it. It's real life. That's okay. Like I, that's why I told you go get her. Like we're, you know, we're all real people. Um, okay. So you're amazing. Laura, you're amazing. You guys are both so freaking awesome. And I didn't realize it's already 816, but that's freaking awesome. You know, when you go over 
that eight o'clock though, it's amazingness when there's only two of you guys and one of me. So both of you guys, I love it because you both have different lifestyles, different personalities, and you're both rocking it because everybody can. Um, but I will see tons of you guys at green carpet in like three days. Um, and I hope that you guys have marked your calendars for conference because it's going to be awesome. It always is. And everybody who goes always promotes because it's just amazing and life changing. So, um, I will see you guys later. Bye. Bye guys. And it is recorded for your teams, but nothing's good like live. <laughs> <laughs>